hundreds of thousands of tweets, Facebook and Instagram posts, all in response and reaction to President Trump's first ever State of the Union speech. Analyzing the data. And it pulls from all the publicly accessible data through social media, so like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, different things like that. Clemson grad assistant Colby Lanham says a lot of the response to President Trump's speech falls mostly down the middle, about the same amount of positive and negative reaction. So that's a pre pretty good indication that a lot of people from both sides of the aisle are, are really tuned into this and are being, being very active. Lanham pointed out the areas where several social media posts came from, most notably looking at the map, Kentucky, California, South Carolina, and New York. But in terms of what uh, th things that matter, obviously, uh, obviously th things like unemployment, uh, tax, the tax plan recently passed a little while back. So that's going to be something that the president's probably going to talk about, uh, talk about a lot more. Lanham says the word cloud shows which terms come up most often in real time posts. It's a re really good opportunity to kind of see to see where conversations are, see, you know, where, where people are and kind of and kind of help meet them there. And, you know, it kind of help come to a better understanding of what's really important to, uh, to people the most. A hashtag can have so much influence over how we shape our discussions and how we live our lives. It's here at the Social Media Listening Center at Clemson University that they want to spur and continue that conversation well after the State of the Union. Joe Ripley, WFF News 4 in Clemson.